rain, the heat and delays that lasted hours, it made for a nightmare of a commute for Metro riders today. And we're learning the issues could continue tomorrow because of a major driver shortage. Five on your side's Eric Feldman is live downtown with what you need to know. Eric. And a viewer sent us what she says is a text message from the Metro customer service team warning her about more sick calls possibly coming tomorrow. And if it's anything like today, that could mean long waits for the train and for the bus. We watched as people waited. I am very dependent on those trains and buses to be on time. Waited because I have to be at work and waited. First in the heat and then as it poured to make this because the rain was coming down too hard and then it stormed all of this waiting for the bus or the train it's been very delayed how bad About five and a half hours for a bus ride that usually takes james eggers 30 minutes i was trying to keep from swearing up and down the cause for the massive delays a sick out metro bus drivers and metrolink operators have been without a union contract for more than a year <laughs> Monday night, the Redbird Express, which takes 100,000 fans to Cardinals games every year, was shut down. In the past several weeks, there have been similar sick calls. Whatever's going on, there needs to be some form of mediation because people might lose their job for this. Dwayne Washington says he was two hours late to work at Texas Roadhouse. They were threatening disciplinary action just because of how long I was late. Washington now needs proof of the Metro bus delays. So if there are problems Tuesday, Washington says he's not worried. He's leaving early. Two hours early. Earlier today, Metro Transit declined our interview request, but did confirm all the sick calls that happened today. A spokesperson says that they are using every employee that they can. Of course, we'll keep an eye on what happens tomorrow. Reporting live downtown, Eric Feldman, five on your side.